Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to be closing our series of tutorial videos regarding the groups in Pro Tools. And the last video, which is this one, we're going to be talking about the all group. Okay, so by default, when you create a session in Pro Tools, and you haven't created any groups yet, right? You just created the session. Um, you're going to see that there's a group already created. It's right here at the top. You can see it. It's it's called all. It's all capital letters. And this is, once again, created by default uh, by the system. Okay, so when you open the session or you create a session, that's already there. No need to create it. It comes with Pro Tools. Now, what is this group? Well, let's give it a shot. Let's go ahead and right-click on it. And we'll modify it to see what's going on here. Okay, so by default, the all group is a it's a mix slash edit group. Okay, meaning that it works uh, for editing and mixing. Okay, and by default, what it does it's that it's going to link the volume and the mute of the tracks. Okay, and it's also going to link the automation mode. Now, which are the tracks included in this group? Because you can see here, there's no tracks tab anymore. Well, the, re the, the, the answer is all. All the tracks. Every single track from your session is part of the all group. That's why by default it's created, but it is not selected. Now let's go back to modify. So once again, volume and mute are uh, parameters that are part of the group, as well as the automation mode. That's for the mix part. Now for the edit part, um, all the tracks are going to be linked as far as editing. So when you slice, they're all going to be sliced. When you move them, they're all going to be moved. So let's go ahead and try the volume, mute, and automation modes with the all group. So once again, I'm just going to click on all to select it. And I'll go ahead and switch to the mix window. So um, the all group is selected. So if I um, change the volume of a track, all of the tracks will change, okay? So that's as far as the volume. Now let's try the mute, okay? If we mute one of the tracks, every single track gets muted, okay? What else do we have? We also have the automation mode. So if we try to change the automation mode of all the tracks, let's say to off, they all got off, okay? Once again, every single track. We have a click track, we have a piano track, a couple of click, uh, kick tracks, and a rebirth. So when I change the mode, they all change, every single one of them. Now let's try the edit part. So if I'm, I'm in the all group, and I click on a track and drag it, every single track gets dragged, okay? If I slice, every single track is sliced, and I can always drag them, okay? So once again, uh, the all group, it's, an, it's a mix and edit group, meaning that the mix parameters that are selected here are going to be linked, as well as the edit, uh, the, the edit part of the group. So it's created by Pro Tools so that um, this, it's going to help you in situations in which, let's say, you open a mix, someone sent you a Pro Tools session of a mix, or a song that they're working on. It doesn't have to be a full mix. It could be any, any session. And let's suppose, let's just say that when you open it, um, it, everything's clipping, like it's too hot as far as volume. Well, you can always s uh, select the all group and then just pull everything down until you hit your master fade or your master buzz um, or the output of your interface properly so you're not clipping anymore. That's one use. The other one is, let's say you want to drag file uh, tracks like MIDI and audio because you want to drag them to add something and you don't want to insert time, well, you can always click and drag them. Okay, that's that's another cool one. Uh, if you want to, let's say you have a song that you, you've recorded and you're creating, let's say, like a, like a radio edit and you want to delete a certain section of a song on every single track, you can always, uh, s uh, s you know, engage the all group and then select that section, delete it, and then move uh, whatever's after that, move it back, okay? So that's the all group in Pro Tools. Once again, it's created by default, uh, and by default, it, it comes disabled. 
or disengage. So you can simply engage it or activate it by simply clicking on it. So that's the all group in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs, and we're going to be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.